Okay, here we are in front of the next one. Now, you've only been with us for a few minutes, but uh, does this look like somebody's living here? Based on these plants that are growing up around the front? I don't think so. Also, this one had a lockbox left on it from a real estate agent. A lot of times realtors don't even come back and get the lockboxes when the listings expire. And uh, it had a combination that I was, uh, I, I knew what the combination was. So uh, we were able to gain access to this home, uh, no problem. We've got the AC system intact here. It's not missing, but the water equipment, as you can see, is what we call a little jacked up. So definitely going to need some service work on the water equipment there. Going around the side, we can see that the uh, backyard looks nice. We've got some trees. Yeah, it's got a lanai, and that's a plus. But uh, we can see we got a busted window here, and also through the lanai, we can see a door laying there in the grass that appears to be all busted up too. So uh, that means the inside of this house is probably in pretty bad shape just based on the outside. Now you're looking at the back of a mall over there and you're right off of uh, the main drag Lee Boulevard over there. So that could be a, a plus or a negative depending on who buys it. We give it a couple of demerit points because uh, you are looking at commercial. And uh, coming in the front door of this one, we got a fire truck going behind us. This one, I already see all kinds of things busted up. Big hole in the wall here. And look by my partner Dave over there, as you can see. Huge holes in the walls. Um, doors ripped off the cabinets. Uh, this door over here, all busted and smashed. Looks like somebody came in here and had a party. Just smashed the hell out of the house. Okay. So that's why you got to get in some of these places. Because otherwise, how are you going to know what they're going to need? So, this is going to need extensive work. So, for those of you, again, part of the point of this video is you think it's okay to just buy offline because it looks like a good deal and the picture looks nice, you just don't know what you're buying. Another good reason, like I said, to use people like us. Boy, this one smashed up pretty good, isn't it, Dave? Smashed. Yeah. Master bedroom. We got no power, no lights. We got a powerful flashlight. We go around everything, so we'll do the numbers on this one. But she's going to need some more. Okay, so we're adding it up right now. Um, and uh, with the drywall repair, drywall oftentimes looks worse than it is. Uh, we were able to check out uh, the garage and the air handler was there, believe it or not. Uh, the wiring was there and uh, just uh, we had a lot of cabinet replacement repair. Um, the sink was ripped up and smashed out of one of the bathrooms. Um, so we're adding up the uh, repairs right now and uh, uh, what do you think that thing's going to cost? About, can we do it for under 10? 8300 About 8300 Okay. Estimate we came up with is about eighty three hundred dollars to put that back together. Now that's our cost because we have a crew that works for us. So again, um, depending on who's watching this video, uh, you do want to know what these things cost going in. You want to get people that will work for you. If you're going to retail this job out, you can just about double that estimate. Probably about fifteen thousand to put it together. Um, and then you have real estate costs. Keep in mind you got to pay the realtor to, to resell it. Um, so that's commissions plus closing costs, title fees, uh, taxes, all those kinds of things. So you could have another six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars in there somewhere. Um, so depending on all that, uh, you may have to pick up this house pretty dirt cheap. Believe it or not, as bad as this house looks inside, a lot of people are going to be bidding on that because there's a lot of people in the business like us uh, that are builders that uh, love to go in and do this type of work. All right, let's go on to the next one. And here we are outside of another one. This is a pretty typical repo. I want to show you some stuff I found in this one here. Um, flooring, all kinds of weird stuff left behind. Uh, flooring looks to be in good shape, but it's got a real strong pet odor. Ideas are some of the strange things we find in these houses. There's a settling tank, pretty big one too. Walls are banged up pretty good. Kitchen cabinets are in iffy condition. Uh, appliances are in real rough shape, as you can see here. And uh, we've got uh, damage to the walls over there, um, rotten colors, 
We did pull all the wiring and it does look okay, so no signs of Chinese drywall. Uh, we do see where there was some water damage coming through the window over here. As you can see down there, okay. So that baseboard has to go. Water problem fixed. And uh, what I really wanted to show you on this one here was um, this hole in the wall. This is really disgusting what some people do. They kept their dog in the garage. Okay, there's the dog's bowl right there. And the garage is just reeks of dog smell and urine. Look what the dog did to try to get up. These are holes that the dog scratched right through the drywall into the house. You can actually see the scratch marks in there trying to get out of the garage. Look at that. Now what the hell kind of owners do this? I don't know. But uh, I feel bad for people who lose their houses. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't feel bad for these people. So I just wanted to show you some of the insane and horrible things that we find in these homes. Alright, on to the next one. All right, the sun's starting to sink low in the sky. It's going on seven o'clock. It's light out till about 8.30, and uh, we are in a beautiful community, as you can see by all these gorgeous homes all around us here. And uh, this is one of the last houses of the day. And this is an incredible looking house with a pool on a pond in an incredible community in Bonita Springs. Um, but the door was open, we were able to get in, no problem. And uh, this home here has a mold issue. So going back to where I try to tell everybody you really got to know what you're doing. At first sight, it looks absolutely beautiful in here. Look at that view over the pool. Pretty common is the way the pool looks. I'll give you a close-up. See all the green algae? So nobody's swam in there for a while, have they? Pretty pond, though. But we were hit with a mold smell, so as we came down the hallway here, we could see some on the baseboard, and then we saw in the closet there all that mold there. Came a little further down, looked straight ahead on that wall. See all the spotted mold? Turn the corner, it's all the way down here on the walls in there. In fact, the hardwood floors in this bedroom are shot. There's mold all up and down the walls there, and in the closet there. Coming back out, bathroom's good, but uh, check this out coming down here. So bad that the facing, the laminate facing came right off of the cabinetry. And just look at the mold on the walls in here. You can see a bunch coming to sight. Look at this snack bar here. So the most serious mold issues we've found in a bank repo house. So Dave, what do we got to do when it's moldy like this? I don't know. I just, uh, we're going to have to rip out all the drywall on this half of the house. The other half of the house doesn't have it. It's just from the kitchen this way. The cabinets all have to go. Everything's got to be stripped out and then we got to start from scratch. Yeah. You so know, not to say it's not worth doing. Because of a, it comps out and we can pull the money out of it, it might, might be something worth to still look at. But it's an extensive job. This has to keep going for a long time. There's a lot of work to do. Yeah. So, um, as we finish up the video here, uh, it's more than just getting the list. It's more than uh, just uh, uh, figuring out what the values in the properties are. It's getting inside the properties and determining the extent of the damage on some of these and some of the hidden damages because as this drywall comes out, we don't know what we're going to find and how deep we're going to have to go. So some of the cost estimates can run pretty high. So my name is Dave Detman. I'd like to thank you for coming along today on our video search. But we're not quite done yet because we got to do the title search. So we're going to have one final segment where we talk about title searches. See you soon.